Okay, if you've read the uh, recent changes to 16.08 over 16.06 Manjaro, you come across this uh, interesting tidbit that they've changed PayMac 4.1. But what is PayMac? Well, PayMac is your package manager that installs and adds and removes software. So if I go in here, I have it in my favorites list, add remove software. But if I were to type in PayMac, you can see it gets me a software update and add remove software. So if I clicked add remove software, it'll bring up the program and that's it, PayMac manager. And right there we have confirmation. Okay, even though in the menu it's add remove software. So here we have it, but what if is the difference between software update, nothing. Software update is PayMac. Okay? So there we have PayMac, and you can see they've changed quite a few things. And one of the neat things is they've added the ability to update your mirrors. And then you simply come up right across the preferences, click on preferences, enter your password, and then you have the same choices in official repositories that you do in Octopi. You can use the mirrors in the world worldwide or the United States or whatever country or area you're, you happen to be in. Sort mirrors by speed or random, and then refresh the mirror list, and then you get a little bar that goes across telling you how far you've progressed in doing it. So this should go pretty quick since I'm only doing the United States. And I am done. Now when I search for programs, and let's say I want to look at uh, Chrome, it brings up what I have. And if I right click on it, I will have a choice to deselect, install, remove, or details. Clicking details gives me a lot of information. And this is uh, very nice. Okay, tells me what it is, gives me a link to a website, um, lets me know the last time it was built, and why I installed it. This time I explicitly installed it, or it could be installed as a dependency for another program. And in fact, here I can click on dependencies and I can see what it's dependent upon. And now I can see optional dependencies, and I could actually install them from here. And then here are all the files. That's just really nice. I like that screen a lot. Okay, if I click, keep clicking across, you can see I have can go by groups. You know, if I was interested in a deep end desktop, I can see what I have there. Okay, I can look at all my foreign or AUR programs I've installed. You can see I installed ICE, Vivaldi, Otter Browser, another browser I was looking at. So uh, that's pretty nice. And then over here, my repositories, core, extra, community, multi-lab, and infinality bundle. And I recommend you install those fonts. It does make Manjaro look a lot nicer. So let's go back and look in, under the uh, toolbar. And you can see I can refresh my databases from here. I can view my history of installed programs. It's kind of nice. I can install install a local package. We go back to preferences. I can remove unrequired dependencies on or off. I can change how frequently I look for updates. So let's jump it up to once every 24 hours. Okay, then it locks it in. I could add programs. So say I didn't want to, uh, you know, update my Otter browser for whatever reason. I could simply choose that. It's in there, and now I'm done. Okay, and I can hide my tray icon when there no update is available. Pretty nice come across we did that the AUR this is the arch users repository you can turn it on or off okay and you could also ask do not ask for confirmation with building packages that makes it go a lot quicker in the terminal and your ability to clear the cache and this is the number of versions of each package I am keeping in my cache in case I want to roll back to a previous version because I, something didn't work that's pretty nice so they've made PayMac pretty sweet. By comparison, if you look at uh, Octopi, which is what I generally have used in the past, 
it's pretty similar except for I have my info files transaction output news and usage down here Octopi does give me the ability to check out what the latest news that Manjaro has out so you can see here they're telling me that they've improved uh, the community version for Mate I can look at my usage so that's kinda nice just a little more graphical but with those symbols but otherwise you can use either one I think and have a very rewarding experience installing and removing software thanks for watching